Hi everyone, Andy here at MVP Java. So I'm gonna start a bunch of tutorials on Google Juice. Uh, I'm gonna keep it short on every video just to get to the point, to the essence of what I wanna cover or else they get too big and it's too much information to take in all out of one shot. We're gonna start off here by taking a look at how to provide a single implementation uh, via Google Juice, so dependency injection of a single implementation. And once we get comfortable with that, we'll take it to uh, the next level through the following videos. So topics covered in this tutorial, how to dependency inject via the add inject annotation, which is the Google Juice way, a single implementation of an interface into another class. So in this one here, in this tutorial, I'll inject an implementation into a service class. And we have various ways of doing this. We can explicitly bind it in a juice module, which is nothing more than Java code, 100% pure Java code um, in a module that juice reads in order to know how to dependency inject whatever we tell it to dependency inject. So it could be real simple, it could be real complicated, but they're all kept apart from our code base in these modules. Uh, we can go ahead and use the annotation way of using implemented by, therefore using uh, or bypassing um, juice module in this case, or we can use them together and we'll take a look at who has precedence in this case. All right, so I created an interface here called discountable. So the thinking is that we're gonna have implementations of this interface that are gonna provide different discounts. So I just have a get discount method to keep it simple. And I've come up with two implementations. I've come up with the early bird discount, which just gives a 25% discount. Now I kept it simple. I didn't you know, create any value classes to represent um, you know, the percentage just to uh, keep things uh, clear in this example. I've also come up with a night owl discount. Okay, so 35% in this case. Now, we are gonna have a service class. Okay, let's take a look at that service class now. If I can find it, I have it somewhere. Night Owl main service class, here we go. We got a checkout service here, okay? And if I make this a little bit bigger, the checkout service, as you see, has a dependency at the constructor level, okay? Which means that I have to pass in an implementation of the discountable interface. I'm using the add inject here because Google Juice is going to pick one of the implementations. Now I'm gonna have to configure that and tell Juice which implementation to pick in this case because I have two. And I'm gonna do that through a Google module that I'll show you very shortly. And then when I call the checkout method, I'm gonna just, again, to keep it simple, pass in the total amount in my shopping cart. So presumably there would have been something before this that I calculated that. So I'm gonna assume that was already done. And then I'm just going to uh, print out a nice little statement indicating what the initial amount was, what my discount is, and the discount once taken into account what's the total, okay? So I'm using the interface implementation here uh, to figure out the discount and do a simple calculation and return that amount. So if we go take a look at the, you know, where, where it all starts, in the main method, I'm, I'm using a standard um, edition application here uh, for this example. You can see here that I'm using a juice factory method or a static method rather called create injector. Now you'll notice that I'm instantiating this class here, discount goose, uh, juice module. So where does that come from? That's something that I made up, okay? So if we go take a look at that over here, you'll notice that it extends the um, Google Inject Abstract module. This is where you tell Google Juice how to wire up your dependencies, okay? So it's separate from your code base in the sense where you're not mentioning or you're not coding new this or new that. Everything is done here, okay? So this is where the factories are built for you. This is where the bindings occur without you having to create that boilerplate factory code all the time. So in this case, I'm just wiring up, I'm saying I'm binding in the configure method, this is what we're overriding from the abstract module. I'm saying the next time you see any method signature saying that it needs a discountable type, which we saw in that service class, 
I want you to inject this implementation. So night owl discount. And if you remember, that was 35%. Okay, I could have put the early bird discount in there. So I'm actually binding a specific implementation, which is the goal of this tutorial, right? Is just to bind one single implementation. So that's it. This is actually going to do the new for me and inject it into that service class, but it doesn't do it by itself. You have to instantiate this juice module from within the point that you're bootstrapping it. So in this case, it's my main method. If you were in a web application, there's there's another uh, obviously another place you would do that. I'm just trying to keep it simple. So there's always going to be a place that you bootstrap. Now I want to say container but it's not really a container. If you go take a look at the juice uh, documentation, they don't really like to be called a container. For example, if we compare them to uh, Spring, right? Spring is a full stack, it's a full container. Here they're really just concentrating or specializing in dependency injection, much more lightweight because you don't have all that extra, those extra layers that Spring has on top of the dependency injection. So. I get my injector back, and if you want to think about it as a container, fine, okay? So now that you have your injector, you can use it to get any instance that it sees, okay? So now we binded, the, the, um, we binded that implementation that I showed you in the Goofs module before, but here I'm asking for a checkout service, right? Now, if you remember the checkout service, right? If we go look, take a look here, it needed a discountable implementation and that's exactly what we binded in the module in the discount juice module so it already knows which implementation to instantiate and to inject so i don't even have to you know specify that i'm just in my bootstrapping code i'm setting up you know i i'm letting it uh, dependency inject everything that I'm going to need in advance. In this case, the checkout service. The checkout service comes back to me fully initialized without me having to do so. And then I just call the checkout method. You know, I'm going to hard code a little value here of 100. And let's see what happens when I when I actually run this. So you can see here the shopping cart was uh, initially $100, which I passed into the checkout service here. Discount to 35%. Okay, so. Like I said, we went into the discount juice module and we hard coded or we told it to inject the uh, night owl discount and then we're left with $65 to pay, all right? So right over here is where the magic happens. If you wanna go in here and, and change this, right? You're not changing your, your code base, you're changing just the module, the configuration. And you're saying early bird discount, all right? Now, if I rerun this now, you'll notice that we're now dealing with 25%. So very much different now. The whole implementation got changed with us just changing the configuration in the juice module. So let me just go back here. So this is where the magic happens. We got everything dependency injected for us without saying new anywhere. And again, this improves our testability because now in our unit test, we can simply inject a test version of a discountable in here, okay? So if we go back and we look at that outline that I showed at the beginning, I showed you that I would show you an explicit binding in a juice module, that's what we just did. Explicit meaning we went in that juice module and we actually explicitly defined which implementation we were going to be using. Now, there's another way called implemented by, okay? So let's say we say we don't wanna have any binding code in here. Let's comment, oops, excuse me, let's uh, comment that out, right? And we go to our interface, so discountable, and we say, I wanna use an annotation here from Google, juice called implemented by. So we're stating that this interface's implementation is early bird discount, okay? So the 25%. So we, by stating this via an annotation, we don't have to go and use the juice module. So this is just a way to simplify the configuration. So let's actually run this guy and we should have 25% come up here, right? Right, okay, so let's say 
We even change this and we want to go to the uh, Night Owl one. Night Owl discount. If I run this, it should be 35% now. And there it is, 35%. So here's a nice way, let me just go back to the early bird here. Here's a nice way to quickly, as you're prototyping an application, specify the implementation. Now I say prototyping because it's quick, it's easy. However, in you know, like a real big, real life application, I find it difficult to track which implementation is being used if I always have to kind of have to look at my juice modules and I have to go look at throughout my code base to find out how things are wired up. So from a personal uh, preference point, I like using the juice modules. But if I'm quickly prototyping an application, just want to get things up and running and show somebody something, then I'll, I'll definitely use implemented by. So what happens, right, if we go back to the outline and we take a look at using both a juice module and implemented by together. Well, if I go to my juice module, you'll notice that it's explicitly binding the night owl, but on my discountable interface, I'm saying the early bird, right? So will this even work? Well, the answer is it will work, but who's going to win, right? You'll notice that 35%. So when you have an implemented by and you have a juice module ha having an explicit uh, binding, it's always the juice module that has precedence, okay? So the nice thing is, though, is that they, they can still work together. So what I like to do is if I go look at my discountable here, I can actually leave that there and use that as a default implementation. If ever somebody would mistakenly remove that code from a juice module, at least the code would still have an implementation to work with. So that's just a little tip if you want to leave them both in there. So let's go back here to our outline. Everything is covered. So this leaves us with some, <clears throat> maybe some outgoing questions here, some follow-up questions. Mainly, first time I saw this, I was like, okay, well, that's pretty cool. That's just your standard dependency injection. Uh, in this case, specifying a single implementation. We saw a couple of ways of doing that. But how do I inject different implementations based on conditional logic, right? Something more dynamic. This is kind of static, we know before the application is bootstrapped, which one we're gonna use. What if we want it live, right? As it's, as it's being used, pick a different implementation. In our case here, we've got two. Maybe one could be used, let's say, in the early morning hours and one at the, at the you know, very late hours of the day. That's why I called it the night owl discount. So in order to do something like that via Google Juice, we're gonna have to take a look at the next video. We're gonna cover a topic called providers. It, providers are huge in Google Juice. Um, there's a lot of features to them. And if you really want to continue with Google Juice, you're going to have to know about them. So check out the next video on providers. We're going to address this point, And there's going to be a lot more points to address as well that are going to make us, uh, you know, reap the benefits of more dynamic behaviors. So I'm going to leave the link to that uh, video uh, right after or during this, uh, this conversation that I'm having with you. Or uh, check out the description below i'll have it down there okay guys so hope you enjoyed that and uh, i'm going to come up with more videos on google juice that uh, specifically target just specific how to's on how to how to go about things okay take care guys